when I talk about child care in this presentation, I'm referring to any care and supervision of children by adults who are not the children's parents or guardians. This can include care in child care centers and preschools as well as by babysitters, relatives, and other providers. And this report responds to the council's request for an analysis of the need for and availability of child care in Montgomery County. We did look at child care for all children, but our focus is on child care for young children, specifically <coughs> children under five years of age. My belief is that the vast majority of children that are being cared for today are probably being cared for in the unregulated market. Now, that's just my belief, um, but I feel fairly confident that that's probably the right. So I wasn't here when we structured the program for just making sure that it is for regulated, and that could very well be the right answer, but I look forward to hearing from you that issue. I look forward to understanding the disparity between the, the cost with respect to the state cost, and you're showing us how different we are from the state, and the state had not updated its, its model since 2005, I believe your report demonstrates. So if the state were to update its cost of provider care to today's number, we're among the last states in this chart to do so. Other states have done it as recently as, I think, what, 2012 or 2011? Right. And, and, and if we were to update it, we would have a better sense of just how meager right. the state contribution really is, because now we're comparing it to 2005 data as opposed to 2012 data, so that that would be a, a significant issue. Um, and then I was intrigued by the New York City model, which seems to focus on where subsidies, where, where child care is not being provided, your last chart, if you will, and saying New York City's made a special effort to focus on those areas where there's not enough providers in underserved areas, and they are spending their resources in that effort. 